Hello and welcome to another quick lesson on permanent virtual circuits, switched virtual circuits, and multilayer protocol label switching. These are all concepts in domain four of the CISSP common body of knowledge. And for the CISSP exam, you won't need to know the technical details for each of these, but you will need to know how they're used, the basic functionality, and when it might be better to use one versus the other. Before we get started on the main topics, here's a quick overview of circuit switching. If you're familiar with the plain old analog telephone system, or the plain old telephone system, a connection is basically established before the two ends can communicate. The connection is made by the dedicated copper wires, which are then connected based on where the call is going. Nothing else can use these wires for the duration of the call. So if you remember the dial-up modem days, this is why call waiting or someone picking up the line on the other end of the house would mess up your, inter your internet connection. With a switched virtual circuit, the idea is basically the same, but instead of sending the analog signal over the wire, voice is converted to digital data packets, and they're sent for the duration of the call or the file transfer. Once the call is over, the circuit is terminated. With a permanent virtual circuit, resources are set aside and configured for the sole use of the customer who purchases it. This is useful when a high volume and continuous flow of data is needed. The customer isn't aware and doesn't need to know the configuration of the circuit. It's simply a service that is provided to the customer. MPLS has the term switching in it, but keep in mind it's a protocol, not a service. With MPLS, labels are added to the packets that help determine a more efficient path to its destination rather than each router making an independent forwarding decision. The topics discussed in this video occur between layers two and three of the OSI model. Once again, thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you understand switched and permanent virtual circuits as well as MPLS. Good luck in your studies and have a great day.